Hey guys, welcome back. Let's take a look at the lineup for today. But before, uh, So we're going to go with Guiri, Rodrigo, Rafinha, Strike, Shackleton, Phillips in the mid. Uh, Klitsch is out with an injury. Uh, we've got Dallas, Llorente, Koch, and Sessegnon, and Meslier in goal. Taking a look at Grief, he's played two matches, allowed three goals, which isn't horrendous, but he's only playing a 6.05 rating. Not good at all. Meslier's played two with the one reserve appearance, uh, has not conceded a goal, and is playing a 7.25. So I want to say he has he's earned the spot. Uh, if we come out of here real quick, thank you, sir. Uh, we are, let's take a look at the schedule first. So after last episode, we played a handful of games, a 4-0 win over Aston Villa. We saw Urente with a late header in the game uh, off of a set piece. Uh, Rafinha with two goals and the assist to Urente off the set. And Amin Guiri got his first goal for Leeds United uh, with a... Double shot. He, he took a shot, got a rebound, and then put it in and uh, got on the score sheet for the first time. Arsenal handled as well, 2-0. We did beat Rotherham 1-0. Kind of a rotated squad, but kind of not. Uh, Curtis Jones was in there, Helder Costa, Koenaki. Yeah, not really. That was a pretty strong squad, I would say. So to only win 1-0 is troubling. Liverpool, we edged 1-0. Koenicki with a late goal in the 90, 91st minute, if I remember correctly. And that was a stunning result. And so if we take a look here, we are currently in ninth position, seven points from four matches. So we're off to a solid start, not world beating, but the only points dropped by Liverpool were that 1-0 defeat. So that is good. Uh, we do have a couple of transfers to talk about. Nothing major, but, you know, we did make a couple of moves. Uh, Bastos, we signed him. Uh, and this was another guy we had out and ran into work permit problems. I really expected to get him. Uh, he's back out on international duty or was. 59 caps. He's 29 years old. I was like... Why can't he get a work permit? <laughs> so we've loaned him out to San Sebastian. And uh, that was after we signed him, uh, let's see, for 7.75, which that signing cost us the that, that center back that we were going after, uh, Richardson, Nicholson, whatever his name was. Uh, I forget now. But... Uh, that money cost us that deal. So we lost twice for that. Uh, Joe Gellhart goes out on loan. Josh Galloway gets sold for a small fee. And Jack Jenkins goes out on loan. Uh, currently, we have uh, $26 million in the bank. We did lose $32 million, but most of that's in the transfers. And you can see we're, uh, we're just behind the eight ball on income which means we'll probably break even and then whatever you know we get in for finishing is what you know is where we're going to end up at so wanted to show you that and get you up to speed here a pair of goals for Guiri Rafinha as well Rafinha is playing really well two goals and an assist a uh, couple of guys with goals, Koenicki, Llorente, Sessegnon, that we saw in the first episode. So let's get to it. That's the team we're going with today. And Meslier, again, looks like he has secured the starting role over the more veteran player. Nobody was motivated off of that. That's fine. Sessegnon with an early shot. I had gone into the tactic, just want to make sure, yeah, it, it did stick. I just wanted to make sure. And we're going to drop that down. Beslier with a save on target. All right, let's pop in and do a shout. Fire them up. All right, Dallas with a throw from the corner. It's deep into the box. 
Phillips takes a ping and it goes over the bar for a goal kick. Meslier lines up for the goal kick. So Urente and Koch are going to be our... What the hell was that? Rodrigo puts some pressure. And they get it turned around very well. Adam Ida. Didn't I have him last year? Oh, well, there was a nice defensive stop. Guiri holds it up. Out to Rodrigo on the run. Is anybody going to give him a play? There it is, and it's Guiri, his third of the season. Oh, my God, he's as good as I remember. I am, you guys have no idea. So this is, I believe, the first player that I've ever signed in a previous version that I have signed again. Typically, I only let I only sign players that my scouts bring to me. He is he's one that I actually went out and looked at and wanted to get. And uh, so I believe he's the first player that I have signed. Oh, that was a big save. That was a big save. That should have been in the net. Calvin Phillips plays it short. It's to Dallas. Back to Phillips. Chested down and then given away. Ampadu. We've got runners with him in defense. And Phillips called for the foul. They'll get a free kick. So 1.2 to 0.69. Every goal kick that we've seen, he's played out to Urente on the left. Just something to maybe keep an eye on. Guiri lays it off to Rafinha. Oh, he was looking to feed it into that channel. Ida. Get back in the box. <laughs> I didn't see exactly what happened there. All right, he's right, he's got a shot, and it's Rodrigo. He usually does a better job creating an angle there. I've seen a lot here in FM21 where he'll take a step left or right to open an angle. He didn't do it that time. He just shot it straight on from where he was. So that's disappointing. And 10 shots, 5 on target, and we hold a 1-0 lead. So let's get to the dressing room. Uh, hands together, cautious. Nothing there. Somebody, whoever was in that top left corner was pleased. I, I, I have a hard time making the loop on the screen. Is it just me? Might just be me. All right, they get it out to Rodrigo. Well, he cuts inside. That's nice. Knocked away to Shackleton. Rodrigo's on it again. Oh, he couldn't get anything on that pass. Urente up to Phillips. Wife's coming home, so you are going to hear the dog. My apologies. Rodrigo. Oh, he tried that little dink, that little deaf touch pass shot and didn't work out. 91% passing. All right, we're going to give, let's tell you what, let's go ahead and look for a sub. I'm going to bring Dallas off for Silva and Rodrigo for Harrison. I think so. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to put Guiri out there and bring, let's bring Bamford on. Yeah, Bamford hasn't played yet. So let's get Bam some Bamford time. I wanted Greenwood in there, but I'm going to be happy with Bamford in there. And we'll be able to take a look at Guiri on the outside. Let's demand more. Meslier playing a 7. Oh, nice little steal there by Silva. 4. 4 outlet pass. They're putting the pressure here. 
Not a lot going on. Oh, there's an end ball for Ida. I'm trying to figure out why Meslier did not come out for that because he's on defense. Take more risks. Let's go to support there. I I want him to be a little more attacking. I mean, as a sweeper keeper, I fully expected him to come off the line there and make a challenge on that ball. All right. We're going to make our last sub here. Stroik for Jones. I think we'll do that. We'll keep Guiri out, Guiri outside. I was thinking about flipping him and Bamford. All right, Silva lumps it. What the heck was that? That was a sky ball. I haven't changed any of the uh, set pieces or anything like that. Oh, nice touches there. Bamford lost it. Ugh. Sessignon with good, you know, good turn on that ball, but good block. Phillips with the header. That's good. Bamford comes back to it, loses it, gets back on it. Find Shacks. Oh, he's got a winger there. Rafinha. And oh, I think if he would have went back post, he would have scored. I think if he would have went back post, he would have scored. Come on. Sessignon. It's in there. Rafinha cannot find the score. Uh, we're going to go up to attacking, and we're still distribute quickly. I don't want to take come out of that, and we're not time-wasting, so... I don't know why. I don't know why he would take his time. We, we're we're pressing the ball. Demand more. Meslier goes up and tips the ball over. Another one-one draw. Weary plays a seven-three. Meslier a seven. So we had some good results. They really came back with thirteen shots, six on target. We did not convert our chances. All right, we'll be back for Burnley in just a second. All right, we're going to go with Guiri up top, Rodrigo. I'm going to bring Poveda in for a start, and Rafinha is going to go to the bench. I do like him in there, but I want to give Poveda some game time. Klitsch, Shackleton, and Phillips with a good triangle there in the middle. Silva's going to start at left back today, letting Dallas move to right back. And Sessignon moves to the bench, giving us that uh, three-position player for that back line. Urente and Koch there in the middle. And Meslier in goal. Uh, Paveda is going to draw number 34. It's probably not a good number for him, but he's still young. Uh, we are going to pump fists. They aren't having any of it. And I forgot, you could tell, I forgot to resize my screen there. Kamar Roof. Oh, he flat foots Meslier. Roof uh, moved to Burnley uh, during the transfer window. I did see that. I just forgot that's who it was. Ouch. Really, really harsh to get beaten by your own player or your old player. Silva finds Klitsch. He brings it up into the middle. Nice through ball to Guiri, and it's tapped away. That's going to set up a corner. Phillips takes it, plays it short to Shackleton. He finds Dallas. Dallas takes a pot shot. That looked pretty easy for the keeper, though. And it's lumped out, headed down. We're coming right back. Klitsch over the top to Shax, and Shax gets his first of the season. 
I, you know, I can't wait two or three more years for him to really be hitting his stride with leads. Very excited about that. Real life. Wow. So that equalizes us at one. We are going to demand more. Guiri on the ball. Plays it off to Ian, to Jan Paveda. Shackle oh, Shackleton just toasted his man, and he's put his second goal in in five minutes. Wow. I was a little concerned about the midfield because we really didn't address that position this offseason. But there were players like Shackleton that played really well last year, and I was hopeful that they would make it, you know, they would make the stand up. Oh, can he get a hat trick here? Oh, knocked away. Dallas is there. Oh, come on. No, they don't call it. Outlet pass to Kamar Roof. And he knew nobody was up front, so he did a good job just holding the ball, trying to get, give time for his teammates to get up to support him. Was a real big Kamar fan. Uh, the year, you know, the one year that he really played for us. Chris Wood, big save. Roof was there, but it gets booted out. And yes, Chris Wood, that Chris Wood. So they're sporting a pair of former Leeds strikers. Rodrigo on the ball. Oh, that was a pretty hard tackle. We're up into sixth position here with the lead. Okay, that went sideways and right to their player in space. Oh, their player misses it. Who was that? Walker Peters, Rodrigo, plays it through. Guiri's on a breakaway and right at the keeper. Ah. Tell you what, let me try something here real quick, guys. I've dropped the magnification a little bit to see if that allows more of that chart to open up. Guiri comes back to get that ball. And let's see here. Yes, so if we do drop it, now that's perfect for all six. But we get three if we go up. So we've got Leeds, Burnley. Let's put Leeds here. And this was the table, right? Lead table. Yep, yeah, I think that's what we were looking for. Tottenham scores. Okay, let's get back to it. Now, the problem with this is now we actually have to basically pause the game, open this to do our shouts. I'm not a fan of that. Let's demand more. Not a lot happening there. Okay, there's a ball out to McNeil. Poveda intercepts it and gets a turn on. Oh, what a through ball. Rodrigo into the box. Oh, he powered that shot. That would have been a big goal. Pepe knocks it away. Phillips lays it off to the edge of the box. And Phillips, thinking he was going to be offsides, looks like he let it go for that reason. Hmm. Shackleton with a big first half. That was huge. Let's let the assistant coach give the give the talk there. No, that didn't go well either. Chris Wood playing a 6-5, Roof playing a 7-1. Let's uh let's encourage him. And there's no way to really tell how they react to anything here either. So, all right, I am going to make a sub because Paveda's playing a 6-3. So let's bring Rafinha on over there. You know what? Let's bring Harrison on. Now, they're both left-footed, yes? Yes. So let's do that. And we're going to make him a winger on attack. 
All right, Silva takes the throw. Deep into the box, Guiri bounces it off the woodwork. He might have been offsides. Might have been offsides there. A oh, good block. Oh, who is this? Harrison was going the wrong way. Uh, that's got to be offsides. Hello. Hello. Yep, they're appealing for it. Looks like they're checking VAR. They are. And a clear offsides. No goal. Disallowed. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good job to pull Kamar off sides. All right, it's going to be a throw in for them. Shackleton steals it. Through ball. Guiri. Oh, my God. How did he miss that? All right, how are our guys looking? Shackleton looks dead. I know you guys don't like people pulled off with two goals, but he is he is falling apart. And I'd rather get the win than keep him on for a possible hat trick. That's just me, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we're going to bring Jones on there. Now, Jones as a Mazella, he can cross well. You know what? Let's – I'm going to reverse these guys. Central mid, central mid support, and Mazella attack. Uh, hmm. Yes, because Harrison's going to be attacking farther up. This will allow him to drift in behind him, I think. Maybe. Maybe that's stupid. Could be. It could very well be. Oh, that one goes wide of the mark. Meslier just watched it. All right, and let's give... That's not what I wanted. I wanted a shout to focus. I don't know which one of those is tighten up, because that's the one I wanted. You know, tighten up, guard them better. That's bad. Who was that? Oh, Rodrigo. Kamar into Wood. There's a great block. It's out to Harrison. Harrison's on the counter. Lays it off to Silva. Silva overlaps. Squared into Phillips. No, Phillips was looking for a gap there. Can't find it. Back out to Roof. He's got players chasing him. And... Ooh, I was nervous about that. I was nervous about that. Dallas took him down in the box. <laughs> I was worried about the foul and the penalty. 17-7 to seven on shots. I think that is a fair result. We get the, two, the three points off the brace from Shackleton. He plays an eight today. We only make two subs. What's going on with that? And we'll tell the coach, everybody's motivated, that played. Great job. So I was looking at the things. Looks like we'll have, counting this episode, six episodes up until the day of the release, which will be the final day of this save. Uh, and then I'll be doing the plus 30 that we talked about last episode. Shackleton, you were great. Yes, you were excellent. All right, let's get out of the day here. And we'll take a look at the table. We do have... Uh, we pulled West Brom in the next round of the, of the Carabao Cup or whatever. Yeah, so we get a Premier League in the fourth round. That doesn't seem fair. But we are now 11 points from six and sitting very well in Europa qualifying. So... I think that's my goal this year. I want to finish top seven and see if we can finish in, you know, in qualifying for next season. I think that would be a big step for Leeds uh, and getting up, getting up in two years. Although I'd still be very happy with a mid-table finish. But 
Uh, what do you think of Shackleton's performance today? Definitely got to be man of the match. Well, guys, if my thinking is right, we will be coming back somewhere, maybe Chelsea Everton, maybe somewhere in that range. So that's kind of the plan. That'll be our second match of the six. And then we'll come back with another one right around Boxing Day, New Year, maybe Fulham and the FA Cup third round. So we can, and then uh, we'll come back again somewhere in March. We just saw Burnley, so Norwich, Liverpool, maybe. Well, we just saw Norwich. Don't want to do that again. And we don't want to wait that long. That'll be a long run. Well, we've got plenty of time to figure out the, the niceties. Guys, hit that like button for me if you want to see more and like what you are seeing. Subscribe if you haven't so far or if you're new to the channel. Let's keep up the good work uh, so far. And, you know, you guys know I do record ahead a little bit just due to my work schedule and doing this as a side deal. But if we take a look at my channel... I'm not going to pull it up, but uh, 78 views in three days on the episode one. Totally stoked about that. 23 views on episode two, 19 on episode three. Would like to have gotten, you know, I'd like to keep these over 20 if possible. Uh, so anything you guys, you know, if you like what you see, anything you can do to make people aware of the channel, the videos, Share it, tweet it out, whatever. I appreciate it. I do tweet daily when the episode goes up, so feel free to retweet that. Follow me on Twitter for updates. Uh, 18 views on episode four yesterday, and already 12 views in nine hours today, uh, for today's episode, uh, episode five. So I'm very excited and impressed with the early responses. Um, 70 plus, you know, dropping to under 20. I'd like to see a little more consistency. I do get a little jealous when I see, you know, 12,000 views on somebody. But, you know, what are you going to do? I'm just looking for 20s. <laughs> Small steps, you know. Um, but I guess I've got to wonder, we're going into year four. If I haven't made an impression on a bigger populace of the FM community, Maybe that's never going to happen. So I don't know. Maybe that's just uh, maybe this is just where I'm at, and I just have to do it for the fun of doing it. But uh, those of you that do watch, thank you so so much. Uh, definitely makes my time worthwhile. Uh, if you get anything out of these, that's my whole goal. And again, those of you that take time to communicate uh, in the comments, thank you so very much for that. Uh, I, I love the interaction and getting to know some of you guys because um, I've met a few, you know, I've talked to a few of you guys from all over the world. So uh, I think that's really cool. Have a good one. We'll talk to you later. Bye.